Oh, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets end of days trading session, the 2nd of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, finishing numbers, let's just have a look here. In terms of Europe, you have the FTSE more or less finishing flat at 7380, the DAX finishing fl uh, certainly negative, stroke flat, and the CAC, same, same sort of concept there. 4963 more or less flat. FTSE MIB higher, certainly seems to be very strong. The, uh, the uh, Spanish indices lower, whilst the uh, sto Euro stock 600 certainly, uh, certainly more or less uh, equal as well. Okay, now in terms of uh, European markets, it certainly seems to be uh, lackluster, no real momentum in terms of US markets obviously making new highs overnight. Although today the uh, the actual Snapchat IPO is over and now US markets certainly turning red. Also with regards to news in terms of Caterpillar be, uh, offices being raided certainly uh, exerting pressure on the on the Dow itself. So no continuous movements higher on the Dow. Okay, now in terms of uh, the uh, uh, economic data on the, in terms of data, your US jobless claims certainly came in weaker uh, or so should lower than expected. Is certainly bullish in terms of the uh, the Fed. Uh, certainly hiking rates, March hike almost 80% plus now. Uh, again, a stronger dollar certainly has been factored into the equation there. Certainly looking for a reversal uh, shortly. Canadian uh, GDP certainly came in uh, uh, stronger than expected as well. ISM New York came in slightly weaker though. Okay, uh, AIG, we're looking forward towards uh, the Australian data and looking towards the uh, Japanese or JPY data later on. In terms of the uh, European session, the highlight really was uh, German inflation, European inflation higher than expected, which obviously exerts or is expected to exert pressure on European indices uh, and certainly send them to the downside. And that hasn't occurred as of yet. Uh, really, I think that has been uh, helped or shielded by the weaker euro. Now, we have had uh, negative comments out from Le Pen. Uh, certainly negative comments out from Le Pen in terms of uh, exiting the euro and uh, reneging on the potential debt. Again, that's risk negative. But this market certainly is oblivious to that at present. Uh, even though US markets have moved lower, the uh, European markets certainly remain stubborn at the highs. So, again, it has to be respected for now. PMI construction data came in slightly stronger than expected, but... The underlying price pressures certainly uh, gaining momentum, and again, it's that inflationary concern. Again, indicates a hawkish stance, which in turn should uh, exert uh, movement higher on the uh, GBP, which in turn obviously should technically send the FTSE 100 down. So certainly seems to be an inverse correlation at present, uh, remaining strong with the FTSE, uh, and which has sent the, the FTSE to new highs. Commodities certainly hammered today on a stronger dollar. Uh, the $55 uh, level certainly in, uh, down, almost $2 now on oil. Copper down quite substantially as well. Copper down seven dollars. Still not having the uh, the effect. Still not having the impact on the FTSE 100, which again is very baffling given the fact that the S and P and the Dow are down today. Impressive, impressive strength the FTSE. Now let's bring up the actual uh, indices for you. Let's start with the German DAX, folks. Okay, daily chart. The German DAX at present. Uh, the daily chart remains strong. You guys, you finish with a Doji candle. You you finish with a, a doji candle on a daily chart. Weekly chart certainly holding resistance. As you can see here, weekly chart holding resistance. Certainly looking for that to hold. Again, like I said, a weaker euro certainly helping European equities. Now, we have a potential reversal here on the 60-minute chart on the uh, German DAX. 10-minute chart, again, potentially putting in a double top. Uh, no real high high. Certainly keep an eye out for that. Okay, look for further weakness in terms of the German DAX. Uh, again, we need a potential flush uh, occurring here. Okay, so looking for uh, support for now at uh, 12.040. Once 12.040 cracks, you have that unfilled gap below at 11.830. So watch out for that gap below, okay? In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC here. Uh, the daily chart at the moment, a doji candle holding resistance. Weekly chart, you can see holding resistance, okay? 60-minute chart on the French CAC again, indicating weakness here. Okay, especially given the fact that commodities are weaker. 10-minute chart at the moment indicating exhaustion, no higher highs, therefore looking for a move lower. Again, that unfilled gap remains wide open, okay? So vulnerable to that gap being closed. FTSE 10-minute chart, potential double top pattern here, no higher highs at 7390. So let's just keep an eye on that. Although having said that, the weekly chart certainly has broken out. Even though, I mean, you can clearly see here we're at all-time highs on the FTSE 100. Let's go to the daily chart. Daily chart at the moment, a potential doji pause. 
Again, looking for a retracer. Retrace back into potentially 7310, 7340E, 7350. Again, looking for a retrace before we start to move higher. I mean, this candle here from 7260 up to uh, 73, um, 7380 certainly needs some con some digestion, especially given the fact that oil prices are moving in the opposite direction, certainly moving lower, exerting pressure there. Okay, now in terms of the 60-minute chart on the FTSE 100, uh, again indicating exhaustion, especially given the fact that this doji candle here putting a potential top. So keep an eye on there. 10 minute chart again indicating exhaustion broken out of the bullish channel. Once we break the key support level around the 7370, you're looking at 7360, 7340, and 7320 coming into play for the FTSE 100. So again, look for potential weakness on the downside. Okay, Euro stocks. Impressive thrust in the Euro stocks. Weekly chart, we're in no man's land. The next field resistance in the Euro stocks already is seen at 3530. So we'll see exactly what happens there. Daily chart at the moment, again, uh, indicating exhaustion. Uh, you do have horizontal resistance in this region. So again, watch for that level to uh, certainly hold. 60-minute chart. Again, we did have a resistance, but we've pierced that now. So again, you have to respect the strength here, folks. But bear in mind, you have that unfilled gap below acting like a magnet. And the market could reverse at any time. Bear that in mind. 10-minute chart, exhausted as well. No real higher highs. Again, that, that magnet at 3320 really is what is my focus. Okay? Certainly remains my focus. Okay, so on that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Watch out for dollar strength and commodity weakness, which in turn will indicate equity weakness from my perspective. US markets already sold off. European equities certainly lagging. Goodbye now.